Praise the Lord this morning, saints. Hallelujah. 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 God is good. He's faithful to keep his people every day through much tribulation. Oh, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you today for this word that you've given us to bring forth. We know that you've put it in us, Lord. We know that you've brought us and many others, your true remnant, through much tribulation, many trials, many testings, much pressure. And Lord, we know by the Spirit, by your Holy Spirit, that there's much tribulation yet to go through, but we can go through it in peace, Lord, because we know that you have delivered us from the wrath, and you have set our feet upon the rock. Hallelujah. And you are keeping us this day. As you keep all of your children throughout the earth, Father, you are a good Father, Holy Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed and true are you, Lord. And we thank you, we praise you, we worship you for giving us your word and for giving us your Holy Spirit, who's one with the word in the precious blood of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you will crush every demonic force that tries to rise up upon the minds of your children, Lord, that you will give us quick, quicker discernment, Lord. Quicken our discernment. Give it to us, Lord, where we know that thought is not of the Lord. That's of the devil. Or that's of the world. That's of the flesh. Help us, Lord, to take every thought captive today and throw them down, be obedient to you, and walk in your way, the narrow way, in Jesus' name, and throw the devil under our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord has brought us through a lot. A lot. A lot. Yes. And there's more to come. Yes, he's faithful. We were looking at a video last night of the Yellowstone, Yellowstone. Um, volcano. And if it were to erupt, mm. boy, I tell you, it would alter this world for Years, years and years to come. I well, mean, the weather and everything. Everything. You know, the way it was saying. But the Lord says there's coming a time that never has been before. Right. And you think about that. There's Matthew been 24. tribulations in the past. But there's coming a time where the tribulation will be greater than it has ever been before. Things will be happening more than they've ever been before. And you think of all the things that's happened in the world. All the earthquakes and the tornadoes and the hurricanes and the fires and everything. Well, the Bible says it will be like a time that has never been before. Amen. You know, we have to be solid on the rock in order to endure endure the time That's coming amen. up amen hallelujah and we can do that we can do that in the lord jesus christ he has the power he's already given us the power to endure he's already given us the power to go through whatever he allows in our life amen it's our job to Utilize that. Utilize what he's already given us. And say, I do have the power. Amen. I can do all things through Christ Jesus. Praise God. I, you know, the Lord Jesus right here. I'm looking for that verse in Matthew 24 that Sharon quoted just a second ago. And, you know, the Lord, he wants us to understand that because... He orders everything. He knows exactly where we are. Amen. This very day, Amen. our physical location, our spiritual status. He knows everything about us. He knows all of our needs. He's always taking care of us, each one of us. And he says, yeah, there's coming a time that's never been before. Or like never it will never be will be after. That You think about that. That's an intense that's right. statement right there. Hallelujah. It is very intense. Praise God. But. Here it is. We right have here. the Lord to bring us through. Jesus said in verse 20 of Matthew 24. But pray. 
ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Well, See, great yeah. tribulation. That word tribulation is thlip, thlipsis in the Greek, and it means pressure, thronging. Okay, now we see here in Acts 14, in verse 22, Acts 14, 22. I got to go over there. Hallelujah. Our, our God is faithful. Paul's talking to the saints in Lystra and Iconium and Antioch, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. That's, now, this is the most yes, important thing, yes. okay? Continue in the faith, in believing. I mean, saints, a thousand shall fall at our side, 10,000 at our right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. If I focus on the thousand at my side and the 10,000 at my right hand, I'm going to lose faith, okay? I need to keep my eyes on Jesus. Amen. And we do need to exhort each other. Exhort each other. In other words, that's lift up each other. Right. You know, in the faith. Right. In encouragement in and the truth. Belief. Amen. And, and knowing, hey, I know this is coming. Yeah, because why? Because the Lord <laughs> said it's coming. That's right. But we have a hope. Amen. The blessed hope, Lord Jesus. We have a hope and we have a promise that he will keep us no matter what. That's right. And, you know, it's kind of scary, really, at the point because so many times we can act like such big babies about everything. Right, right. Like just little pacifier in the mouth right, kind of deal. Right, right. You know, any little thing, mm -hmm. we're crying over it. Right. Just like a little baby mm -hmm. that has a pacifier. That's right. And it's kind of scary at the fact because it's like, Lord, wow, if I act like this at this little thing that's happening right. and you telling me that there's a time coming that never will be, never has been and never will be again. Right. And I'm already getting all upset at all this trivial little stuff. Right. Where will I be in that time? Oh, God. We need to cry out, y'all, because we need to cry out that God will do so much more of a work in us where we're not moved. Right. Amen. No matter what's going on in our life, That's little right. or big. That's right. That we stand our ground. Amen. Because he's given us the power. It's not that we don't have the power. Right. But, hey, we act like it sometimes. Right. We don't utilize it. Right. We don't appropriate the precious blood, the victory we possess in Christ Amen. over the dragon and the, with the word of our testimony. I mean, and that's that's really a big deal, too, because we need to, we need to share to. our mm -hmm. testimony, share what Christ has done in our lives with the brethren to encourage one another, okay, as we're walking this walk, because... We're all together side by side. See, if you hurt, we hurt. Mm -hmm. If I hurt, you hurt. We're all the same one body of Christ. See? A lot of times we don't, we don't know or understand that either. Right. That we're going through something. We don't know why. The first thing to do is ask the Lord, Lord, does this have to do with me? Something in my life, something I've been doing or whatever. And if he shows you it's not, then... He shows you it's an intercession for right. another part of the body. And so pray. Right. Because we literally, as the body of Christ, well, what is it saying there? If one of the body of Christ hurts, we hurt. We hurt, right. Okay. What's the explanation of that? If someone is sick in their body mm -hmm. and they're hurting, they're painting, the, what does the Bible say? We can literally take that on right. and feel that. Right. As another part of the body right. of Christ. And, and then we think we're having right. problems. We're having, yeah. But we're really interceding, interceding. for other members of the body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's take the back, for instance. What does the back stand for? What do you need your back for? So you can strength. stand for mm -hmm. strength. Okay. To pick things up and walk. And if, you, if your back's broken, you're not going to really go very well. Okay. Well, how many people in the walk 
have a broken back. Mm -hmm. They're not going in the walk in Christ. Their back's broken. Something's happened, and it's hindering them, whether it's a work of the flesh, okay, or the devil just hindering, or the world's crouching in, you know, with everything that the world demands from people. And so God will allow us to intercede for people Remember when my back went out for 64 yeah, I was days? To say that. It's 64 days my back went out. I mean, I could barely walk across 60 the days. 60 days. Yeah. It was just like, man, I, I mean, I was just like, God, what are you doing? What's going on here, you know? But he was showing me something about what was coming that he was going to break the back of America, okay? And so when the back of America, the electric grid goes down, I mean, everything stops. Trucks stop mm -hmm. running, trains stop running. I mean, it's just because there's no way to pump the fuel to keep the vehicles going because there's no electricity, okay? Mm -hmm. No air conditioning. Imagine a world right now in America without air conditioning in the middle of July and August, okay? You just think about it. I mean, it's just going to be bad, mm -hmm. okay? So God says, I want to strengthen you today in your back, in your strengthening, in your ability to stand no matter what happens, see? Right, and we really, you know, I was thinking about that little girl that got killed over there in the Middle East. And, you know, God gives you, like, word pictures. He gives you, <coughs> he had, he gives you advance warning of what he's going to do. You're what talking about Rachel Corey. Yeah, Rachel okay. Corey. Okay. And when those guys ran over her with that bulldozer, I the mean, Israeli just ran Army right over ran her. Ran her over. She looked up and she said, my back, my, my back, back is, is broken. broken. Help me. Help me, my back is broken. You know, and then the Lord showed you that about the right. back of America right. being the electric grid. Right. And, you know, it's really, it's a serious thing because we're entering into that time. And, and you know, some people are not even going to know it. They're not even going to realize it because they're going to be just like the people in Noah's day. They didn't, they went eating and drinking, living it up. Right. right until the door was shut That's right. That's on the right. ark. And so people will not be uh, knowing what's right. going on. But you know what? God's people will. That's right. His true remnant know what's going on because he's showing them. You know, the Lord, he's always shown us over the years different things before he allows something to take place in judgment. And I just feel like that is very close at hand, you know whenever he wakes us up in the night like right. he did last night right. Right. and and wide awake and just having this sense in the spirit of knowing mm -hmm. you know that that god's hand is fixing to come down changes are coming and so you know and i know others in the body of christ felt the same thing last night in the night right because we're all one the true body of christ is one that's right Amen. and so god's going to show us all y'all Praise the Lord. And it's going to be like one confirmation after the other in the body of Christ. And that's the way it's supposed to be anyway. Right. But we're to exhort each other in this time. Right, right, right. You know, tribulation, hey. Tribulation now, worketh patience, okay? That's what it says in Romans 5. See, go ahead. And the thing is, some, you know, some people think tribulation is, you know, just a, min a minute thing, you know, that really... We shouldn't even be getting upset over. But we're talking about a tribulation, y'all, that's going to test, and I mean test big time, the hearts of men and women. That's right. We're going to all that's know right. how much of Jesus Christ it's is really, in us. That's right. Amen. We're going to know if we've been giving God lip service in this hour, or if we are really... Uh, it's from the heart. What we've been doing and saying and everything right, else is from right. the heart, Good from the word. Spirit of Amen. God. Amen. Amen. You know, now is the time for preparation. We're in the time of preparation. The Lord says, you know, when the torches, which that's the lights of the cars, man. Yeah. You know, I mean, the Lord put it all in the Word. Right. We're the in book the of time. Nahum. The book of Nahum says that the chariots shall rage in the streets. Yes. They shall be as torches. Yes. As you know, the, the headlights and the, on the highways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are, you know, when you look up the word chariot there, it means vehicle. Yes. Okay. And so we see this and this is the day of the Lord's preparation, preparation. and it's been going on Amen. for over a hundred years now. Okay. 
So the Lord is very close to really yes. bringing down the hammer yes. upon the yes. wickedness mm. of the rejecting, the rebellious mankind that mm. has continually rejected him. Yes. Because man thinks there's something because of their inventions. But God says in his word, he hates the inventions yeah. of man. Mm -hmm. Now, he'll use the inventions of man, but he doesn't like them. Okay? And that's just the truth. Because it hinders people from drawing close to God. Hallelujah. Remember back before the television, before the radio, before the radio ever came out, families used to gather around around the Bible. And they would talk to one another and they had supper at home. Then the radio came out and so they started gathering around the radio. Listening to some other dude give them what he wanted them to know. Programming them with the radio. Then the TV came out, same thing. So look how far we've progressed. Look at our society. It's just bad 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 mm -hmm. okay i mean Total double bad abominable. and it mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. but jesus says i have a broom okay and he's yes. sweeping right now mm -hmm. and it's going to step up mm -hmm. and i'm telling you right now the angels they have put the dragnet out they're dragging it in dragging it in and they're going to go through and they're going to pull all the bad out and throw it away yeah. out of the dragnet mm -hmm. okay the, the the tares are being gathered into bundles right now and they're being wrapped up for the fire. Yeah. And the wheat's going to be gathered into the barn. Hallelujah. See, and we are the wheat. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are the wheat. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So if you're going through a pressure today, it's because you're being cracked. Okay, God's doing some work in your life. Just let him do it. Say, God, do it. Yeah, do just it. like that video you had made where... We are the wheat. He put <laughs> some wheat in this hand grinder we have and did a video of it and as you watch the the grinder blades or whatever they are you the, can watch the you wheat you can hear the wheat being and it's ground going, you know crunching right, up right, and right. and that's what happens you have to be uh crunched up so to speak you have to be pressed you have to be broken those kernels are being broken right. they can't be made into bread until they're broken right that's right so as they're broken into just a fine flower, flower, Amen. you know, and then what happens next? And look at this. Look Put at that. In the a oven. Minute. Let's look at that a minute. Okay. <laughs> because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. See, we're one body of Christ. We're the bride. Hallelujah. And you look at it. Each kernel is an individual kernel when you put them in that grinder. Mm -hmm. And as you're grinding them, they all get ground up and then they're all together. Yes. They're all together as one. So this pressure that we're going through, the body of Christ, Jesus is actually, man, I got holy bumps. He's actually bringing us all into the oneness. Unity. Unity. And he is exposing the wicked, yeah. the false mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. He's exposing it, and he's going to push it out. He's going to give people a chance to repent. And if they don't repent, he's just going to put them right in the, dra right in the oh, bundle. Man. He's going to tie them in. See? Yeah, just because like the, they don't want to repent. They're proud. They're yeah. arrogant. They're rebellious or whatever they they're are. Like the stubborn donkey. Right, right. You know, it's just amazing to me that people can profess to be the Lord's people and just believe that these false movements are of God. Mm -hmm. You know, just what we watched yesterday is mm -hmm. like, and, and we're supposed to warn. We're supposed to warn. We're supposed to say, hey, you guys, this is false. Right. As a three dollar bill. Yeah, but you're you're not supposed to do that because <laughs> you're not supposed to discern. That's what they teach you. Yeah, that is one of the teachings of what was it, Rick Joyner, this thing with Rick Joyner. Right. You don't You don't discern. Yeah, you try to discourage discernment. Well, right. hey all these movements that are in these false things and you know it's it's really sad because some of these people have gone so south. Right. So south Thinking that writhing as a snake and jerking your head all around like and the Holy Ghost, <laughs> what did they say it was? Holy Ghost hokey pokey? Yeah, the Holy Ghost hokey what pokey. What a blasphemy, man. Right. What a total blasphemy. You know, you guys, those spirit <laughs> filled with the Spirit of God, you they should discern, Amen. discern Amen. that this is false. That's right. And come out from among them. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I want to finish reading this verse. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them, okay, inviting them, invoking them, okay, to continue 
in the faith, okay, to continue, stay in the same place in the faith, okay? And that word faith there is persuasion, credence, moral conviction of religious truth or truthfulness of God, okay, that God's able to keep us. You stay in the faith, hallelujah, Belief. to continue Belief. in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation. The word much there is megas. Ooh. Okay, no, it's polis. Okay, <laughs> I got it wrong. Hallelujah. Singular, much, in any respect, or plural, many, can be both. Okay, largely. Okay, so it's through much tribulation. And there's that word, flipsis, pressure. Okay, literally or figuratively, afflicted, affliction, anguish, burdened persecution tribulation trouble all these things this is you look at the church history you follow it down through the ages and you see the true remnant has suffered okay at the hand of the false the pharisees and the devil's church so to speak mm. look at the aldensans or the waldensans in the in the alps there in italy north of italy in france in Sweden or Switzerland or wherever. And those people suffered great tribulation at the hands of the Roman church. Mm. I mean, from the time, from the beginning, or the, the Christianity went all the way into Europe real fast, okay? But the church tried to stamp them out, and they couldn't stamp them out because they are God's true people. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Our brothers and sisters, look at the church right now in Syria suffering great tribulation going through much tribulation Amen. okay yes. and they're in the kingdom of god they're Amen. going through much tribulation and we in america praise the lord he's allowed us to be here but i'm telling you right now he's calling us to more prayer yes. he's calling us to mm -hmm. to really enter into the fellowship of the suffering with the fellow believers all over the world I mean, God is calling us to, to really become of the understanding and realize that we are one with, with each other, okay, in Christ. And, and we need to intercede more yeah, the for, the, for the Christ. brethren. I mean, Amen. you know, it's, it's through much tribulation, okay, that we enter into the kingdom of God, into the rule of God. Hallelujah. Amen. See? But even though into the reign of God, Go even ahead. though you know, I was I had the thought when Jesus came, they were after him to stone him, just practically right off the bat, mm -hmm. and he just walked right through the crowd. <coughs> I mean, they had stones; they were going to throw them at him, and he just walked right through. Yeah, and it's just like the Lord has all of, a job for all of us to do, mm -hmm. and. He's going to protect us in it till our job is done. Doesn't mean we won't go through stuff. Even like the apostles did. Doesn't mean that. But he will preserve us. That's right. He will preserve us. And our job is done. And then. And like the apostles. Home. Like the apostles. We want to be like that. They went out rejoicing. That they were counted worthy. To suffer for the sake of the name. Right. They, they went out rejoicing. After the they were beaten. I mean, they went out rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer for the sake of the name. That's a mentality. Mm -hmm. We have to have that mentality. He also rebuked them, though, whenever yeah. they were, uh, they come back, you know, all happy and glad that, that the devils were subject yeah, to them. Yeah, Jesus said, don't, he said, don't be all high-minded. Yeah, he did. He rebuked them. Okay. I mean, he was real, he's really strict. He was strict on them. Yes, he was. You know, if they got out of line just even a little bit, he rebuked them. That's right. I want to read this out of First Thessalonians. Okay, Paul's telling the Thessalonians he was trying to go see him, but Satan hindered him from going. Okay, God allowed that to happen because God wanted Paul to write a letter to him that we have today, see. And so the Holy Spirit knows what he's doing. Always a purpose. Amen. But in chapter 3, he says, Wherefore, when we could no longer forbear, we thought it good to be left at Athens alone, and sent Timotheus, our brother and minister of God, and our fellow helper. This is chapter 3 of 1 Thessalonians. And our fellow 
and sent Timotheus, our brother and minister of God, and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Christ, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith, okay, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, Acts 14, 22, and Paul saying the same thing here, that he sent Timothy to establish the Thessalonians and us, and to comfort you concerning your faith, that no man should be moved by these afflictions. Now, I want to show you wow. something here. Interesting. Okay. Hallelujah. This is so powerful. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. Oh, praise God. In verse 3. Okay. Oh, the Lord is good. Look, this the, this word afflictions is flipsis. It's the same word they translate tribulation. Okay. So it is that no man should be moved by these afflictions. Okay. Shaken. To wag. Disturbed. As a dog its tail. Okay. To shake. Back and forth. Disturb. Mm -hmm. Move. Don't be moved by these afflictions. Mm -mm. For yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. Wow, well, that's a scripture to put on the wall. Yeah, it's a primary <laughs> verb. <laughs> to lie outstretched. Okay. To lay. Lie. See? Well, we are appointed thereunto. Hey. He told us in advance. It almost makes you speechless. No, <laughs> that you just think about that. Uh, I mean, this is not being preached in the church today. Ah, uh, man. Mm. See? Now, look verse 4. Let's see what verse 4 says. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass, and ye know. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you and our labor be in vain. See, Paul sent Timothy over there to him. And Timothy came back and said, oh, they're strong in the faith. Oh, Paul, they're growing in faith. Even though they're being persecuted by the brethren, oh, they're growing in faith. They're pressing into Christ. Hallelujah. And see, today we are pressing into Christ. Amen? Mm -hmm. We're going forward. No matter what, no matter what, we're going to press in because see, he, the Lord Jesus, is faithful to keep us from falling, to present us faultless before his throne. Hallelujah. And yeah. we don't need to worry. A lot Hallelujah. of times, a lot of times, you know, it's especially with young Christians, they don't understand this persecution they're getting from within <coughs> the quote unquote church. They don't understand that. Right. And, you know, the Lord said the Pharisaical, you know, those that are lip service, but don't have it in the heart. They're the persecutors. Mm hmm. They're the ones, you know, because they they don't want that Jesus there, that Jesus there. Right, right. They want to keep their Jesus that makes them feel all comfortable in their sin and makes them feel all good about their self. Right. They don't want the one with the cross. That's right. No, so no, if you come in with the Jesus with the cross, right. they're going to cast you out or find some way to get you out. Right. And persecute you in the things that you're doing. <laughs> persecute you and the things you're saying and they don't even know that they're being used in that way because they're the deceived. lord said they're yeah. deceived That's and right. they love to, to have, have it, it so. so amen That's right. even though they brought the truth right. even though the truth is spoken to them they don't want to receive it they want to go on in their own willful way That's right. That's right. And so you know what? That's the worst judgment that can be on a person that That's God right. can put on Just a turn person. Turn them over to turn their Turn them over to way. their self. That's right. And their way and their will. That's right. But his mercy comes back yeah. around. His mercy comes back around. It comes back around. And he'll send someone else in. Because he loves them so much. To speak That's the right. truth. That's right. And then if they reject it again, you know, there's only so many times God's going right. to let that happen. And God knows the point when a person has crossed the line. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then he lets us know, too, Yeah. if that happens, mm -hmm. you know, look what Paul says. But now, verse six, but now when Timotheus came from you unto us and brought us good tidings of your faith and charity and that ye have good remembrance of us always desiring greatly to see us as we also to see you. Therefore, brethren, verse verse seven, one Thessalonians three. Verse 7, Therefore, brethren, we were comforted over you in all our affliction and distress, 
by your faith. Paul was, oh, he was relieved. He was going through it, and he got a message from Timothy that they were going strong in the Lord, and Paul was alleviated. Whatever was going on with him, I just kind of left. It was so because encouraging. He, he was so encouraged. Hallelujah. Because he had he, gone and preached to them or whatever, right. and that was the fruit. He was seeing the fruit, and it just made him glad, right. made him happy that that was the fruit and the faith, and that his labor wasn't in vain. Mm -hmm. And look what this says in verse 8, saying this is important. For now we live if ye stand fast in the Lord. Okay? that What is that telling us? Wow. If, if I fall from grace, what happens? Other people fall. It could, boom, yeah. boom, 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 mm -hmm. boom, boom. That's the See? way it works. So I need to make sure my heart is right with God and walk with the Lord in faith, believing, trusting Him, relying upon Him for all things. And everybody has to do it in the body. I mean, he's given us eternal life, and we are delivered from the wrath. Hallelujah. We are. But we still have tribulation. We have sorrow. We have suffering. But see, we also have rejoicing. We have peace. We have hope. We have love. We have all these things that carry us through. Hallelujah. And Amen. it's all the Lord. Hallelujah. He's yeah. doing the work, man. I was thinking of that so goes for really anything, even in the wicked thing because in the nation look at the head <coughs> I mean all the way down look what's happening in the nation you know in different churches or fellowships if you have uh, heads in there that are doing this and that and well everyone follows suit don't they from the head on down praise God let me finish reading this chapter, saints. It's pretty powerful. Verse 9. For what thanks can we render to God again for you? For all the joy wherewith we joy for your sakes before our God, night and day praying exceedingly that we might see your face and might perfect that which is lacking in your faith. Well, wow. Okay. He's, he's wanting, he's so longing to go be with them, see. And we long to be with the brethren, too. I mean, you know, we, we as the remnant, all of us together, me and Sharon here and you who are listening, we all long to be together so we can all hug each other and talk about the Lord and rejoice together, you know what I mean? Comfort one another. Now, God himself, verse 11, and our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ direct our way unto you. And the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men, even as we do toward you. To the end, he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before God, even our Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, God's establishing us. He's establishing you, saints. Don't be discouraged today if the devil tries to throw something or the world tries to say something or your flesh tries to just take those thoughts captive, cast down every imagination, lift up your head for your redemption, draweth nigh, saith the Lord, and just go forward in the Lord, just loving and praising him. It's vitally important we remember it's through much tribulation, and it's vitally important that we remember he, the Lord Jesus, has carved us in the palms of his hands. He has us. All of us, mm -hmm. we're his, and he owns us, okay? Mm -hmm. We're his property. Mm -hmm. And, hey, if the world tries to jack with us, they're in trouble, okay? Because what will happen? The Lord will keep increasing the grace, increasing the power in us to stand. Oh, hallelujah. And even if the Holy Spirit has to knock us down to wake us up, he's willing to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. But he says, hey, I don't have to knock you down if you just turn to me right now, surrender. Walk with me. Amen. Amen. Glory to the King. Let's pray, honey. Father, we so thank you for this wonderful, beautiful word today that you have given us, Lord, for all the saints, for all your church throughout the earth. And Father, I ask that you will just so penetrate our hearts with more revelation from this truth you've shared today. Show us any changes need to be made in our walks, Lord. Hallelujah. Teach us how to surrender more. Let your grace be poured upon us abundantly today, exceedingly above all we can ask or think. 
and let your faith be increased in us jesus hallelujah your discernment be your discernment be quickened in us lord jesus so that we will walk in the narrow way like you walk and be obedient to the father hallelujah hallelujah crush the devil and throw him under our feet in jesus name amen amen hallelujah hallelujah if you want to write us today you can write behold a new thing at yahoo.com behold a new thing at yahoo.com and also check out all the sites we have listed on this message and saints there's a lot of word out there to bless you mm -hmm. and there's over well over a thousand videos on our youtube channel that are all relative for right now they and, are and every one of them <laughs> and you can go watch those and be encouraged and strengthened and and just know that the lord knows what he's doing and he bids us all to come and to get in the train not the engineer part okay not the engine but just somewhere in the train get in the train and he says i'm taking you i'm bringing you to the very end to the finish line amen you amen. know it's amazing sometimes we'll listen to one of the messages and it's just like it was just for that day because the word of god is relevant no. every day relevant relevant amen <laughs> Revelant. <laughs> well, yeah, because we have some that we posted up there from 2003, uh -huh. and some messages we preach in 2003, and, and they are relevant. The they're relevant Isn't right that now. Awesome. Because it's God's word. It, yeah. That's right. Exactly. He's so good. Mm -hmm. We love Amen. him so. Okay, saints. Praise the Lord. Have a blessed day. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make His holy face to shine upon you. The Lord our God lift up His holy countenance on you and grant you peace. And the Lord be gracious unto you today. Hallelujah. His name, his authority, and his character be in and upon your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. God bless you all, and we will talk to you soon. Hallelujah. <laughs>